Hey, what's going on traders? This is Talon2303 with Trade Lab. Today I am going to bring a special video. This is for the trading group, the trading floor. I joined them not too long ago. I haven't gotten as involved as I want to, but I found them through a YouTube channel called The Moving Average. The guy who does that channel, his name is Artie, and he has a couple different strategies that he's shown in past videos. And then he started this group, The Trading Floor, with some other people where they have other strategies that they use and they have some trading competitions. And what really actually got me was the 20 pip challenge, which I am going to have to try. I'm just trying to find the right strategy to do it. But basically you take 20 bucks and you get 30 successful trades in a row and you turn that $20 into $52,000. I'm all for it. I'll give it a shot. But first, if you do not have Trade Lab, I will have a link in the description below. This is what I'm going to show you today, how to create Artie's three line strike strategy on Trade Lab, which I have done here. I should have turned it off when the session was over though. But like I was about to say, if you do not have Trade Lab, put an affiliate link below. You can build pretty much any strategy you can think of or want to into a bot. And I will show you how to do that on this channel. I will also share all the strategies that I do on this channel in Trade Labs Community Browser. You go on here, you look at it. Here's some of my last ones. You click on the strategy and you can copy the setup. It'll go into your strategies list here. And then you've got it. All you have to do is set up the alerts. I'll show you how to do that now. So what I'm currently doing is a trading competition over here on the trading floor. And these are my submissions from yesterday. A successful day. I had I think six trades and four of them were successful and four of them were actually on the bot or maybe i had more than four successful trades one two three four five six yeah i guess i had like six out of eight yesterday or seven out of eight something like that anyway it was successful i some of them i used my bot for the crypto ones and for forex i used the exchange bing x and uh just manually traded it but i will show you what i did for my bot here i got an, another cool thing is the indicator i'm using is kind of the one that Artie has told everybody about on, on a couple of his videos the tma overlay but a guy who i have another discord channel with has made this indicator for me with a couple of extra features and we are going to make that available to everybody who wants to get it on trading view if you watch this video so you got the smooth moving averages i do not use the 100 so i usually shut that off over here you could set them to whatever you want but Artie in his three line strike videos does the 21 50 and 200 smooth moving averages the cool thing about the remastered indicator and i, I am not positive what that's going to be called but i will put it in the description below after des finishes it and i'll make it available to to everybody especially if you go to the community browser i'll put instructions on how to put it on your chart and stuff you can change what you want for your confirmations you can use just the candles and the three line strike everybody from the moving average knows this already but if you have not used any of their strategies or, or been on there the three line strike is when you have three red candles in a row and then you have a giant bullish candle or a bullish engulfing candle after the three red ones and same opposite for the short signals it's three bullish candles and then a bearish engulfing candle so it allows you to not only use those candles but you can choose to use the candles like the three line strikes only when the moving averages are going in the direction of the signal so like here this signal is when the moving average lines are also moving down I asked Des to do that because it's something that Artie said in one of his videos that you wanted the moving averages to be going up or down depending on if you're looking for a long or short. So we added that, or Des added that in there. And then also you could just use the moving average lines for your entries. Anyway, for my setup that I did on Trade Lab, I am using the candles only option. These were my trades from yesterday on Bitcoin. So the reason why I said like uh, one of my trades yesterday this one actually should have been stopped out, but for some reason a stop loss didn't place. And then I woke up and I found it somewhere over here, or probably over here, and I was like, oh crap. So I reset the stop loss to where it should have been, and then it ended up taking profit. So, and then this was a perfect trade right here, real quick one too. And then I should have shut off my bot at the end of close for the New York market yesterday, and I didn't, and then I had a couple of losing trades. So it's kind of not 
what I was looking for, see here, these two losses were after the session C740 40 p.m. last night and then 5.30 this morning. Had I shut it off, I would have been okay there and I would have had a winning average. And then in my Bitcoin one, it just had a loss. Uh, so was, there were three losses after close. So I'm going to uh, try to shut them off and set times. I actually set the times up in Trade Lab now. I'll show you how to do all this. But I'm also seeing if Dez can add that into the indicator also. And then you could have it not even fire signals unless you're in your specific time range. So uh, I will show you what I did here and the rules. I went by the rules that, let's see, how do you say his name? I think his name is Vorpal Egg. This dude, Vorpal Egg. So I went by his stuff on here, and basically you're going for the three-line strike signal right here. It's only valid if the stochastic RSI is overbought so if you're looking for short you want it to be overbought so i have it I think i have it set to the blue line above 80 and then if you're looking for a long you want the blue line below 20 and i will show you how i did that in the strategy here in a second okay so for copying my setup currently on trade lab when you do it in the community browser i'll show you the rules that i put in so my alerts I use the three-line three strike stochastic data. So I have a data alert going to Trade Lab from TradingView, and where that is coming from is this third window down over here. If I have Market Cipher B on here too, because it's one of my favorite indicators. But um, so over here you'll see TMA. Here's stochastic RSI. So you have two plots right here. That gives you your blue line value and your orange line value. I believe the blue line is K line, the other one's D. But right here, if we do an alert with either one of these values above, I do negative five because it's always worked for me, then we can have an alert fire off every minute or every candle close. And that data will come into Trade Lab through this rule right here that I have set up. And I guess I forgot to shut it off. I just opened another three line strike trade. We'll see how that goes. Let's see if it's going to be any good. Went short. See, this went short because the stochastic RSI blue line is under the orange line and above. It was above 20. Let's see. So I have set percentages. I I think for my lines, I put my stop line at 0.25 and take profit at 0.45 for Bitcoin. I'm actually going to add something for those of you that use the ATR. 45. So we're going for a 1.75% risk to reward. Yeah, it's 45. I guess, I guess I'm going for a little bit more than that. Let's see what my entry is. Let's go. So 10.45. Entry price is 22.314.20. Okay. Actually, you know what? We'll go exact. Take profits stuff from here so this is all the data you can see in trading you close your or trade lab you can close your trades from in here also you can open your trades uh, you can use whatever confirmations you want also you don't have to use the stochastic rsi i can show you how to do that also so my stop loss 22 through 70 and my tick profit was set at 22 to 13 all right, I guess we'll see what happens there. Not really, I mean, it was in within my rules and it looks like market cipher showing that it's going down. So ah, maybe I'll make up a little bit of the losses on this one, but we'll see. It's the weekend, so it could just range. Anyway, so in Trade Lab, we'll go back to our strategy. So what I did was I made the alerts for three lines stochastic data and I have the blue line information coming in for plot zero because if you go here and you go to the data window the plots always go they start at zero and then then go to one so the zero one if you look at market cipher here the market cipher blue wave light blue wave is zero blue wave is one and so on so anything that has this kind of data you can input into trade lab it will store it for you and I'll show you how I did that so that when it comes in hits this rule it turns the variable that I made into 
to whatever number came in from the alert. My variables are all here. So I'm tracking the 200, the 21, and the 50 SMAs. This right here, label and time frame, is how I differentiate my strategies when they're coming in. Like when a signal comes in from TradingView, you want Trade Lab to be able to filter it out from other strategies. So I just put the label in here. You could call it whatever you want. You would do the time frame, whatever you want. That's just for me managing my own stuff, but that's the way I like to do it. So you set this up. Now every alert you put into Trading View, like Trade Lab, all you have to do is click on the alert, click on the webhook, go here. Let's see, which one was that? the stochastic RSI data. So this is how you would put this alert into trading. Click here, add alert, stochastic. We're gonna do the K line greater than negative five. And we could do once per bar close or once per minute. If you do once per bar close, you wanna click on, on this. See, I have it here once per minute. So the instructions, I put them all here. Here's the stochastic RSI settings. You wanna change, uh, I should show you that too. Click on the webhook. All you have to do is click to copy, go here, delete that, put the new one. Uh, don't hit create yet because you wanna put the rest of the message in. You just click on these boxes and paste. Click on the message. Delete this, paste that in there and hit create. You would change this to once per minute because that's what I put in my rules. You hit create twice and now you've got data coming into Trade Lab through the rule that I put in that template. So you're gonna do this with all of these. So you also are going to have the TMA overlay data. That's what's giving the moving average numbers. So these over here are all the values of the SMAs and I'll show you why we did that. So we've got the three line strike stochastic data, three line strike TMA overlay data and the three line strike long signal right here. So we're only using two indicators currently. And what I did is I built a rule in order for this to be a valid long signal, the 21 SMA has to be above the 50. The stochastic blue line has to be greater than the orange line, but it has to be equal to or less than 20. Then the long signal will be valid. It will set the trading side to buy and then it will place the order. So that automatically places the stop and take profit line. You're good to go. Let's see where we're at. Not moving all that much. Uh, so short for a short trade, when the three line strike signal comes in, it will check and make sure that the orange line is greater than 80. Is that what I did here too? Yes. Okay, so that's gotta be greater than 80. Stochastic blue line has to be less than the orange line. And then once you get the three line strike signal, it will match the symbol, the time frame, the label. It will set the side to sell and it will place the order. You'll be in a short and you'll use the same 0.25% for stop and 0.45% for the take profit. So in this also, I know a lot of people want to use the ATR bands for the stop loss. So I will create a new strategy based on this one, but we'll use the ATR bands for the stop loss if you wanna do. I'll make another video to explain that. So I'll try to keep this as short as possible, even though I'm rambling right now. So these are all the alerts you're going to put into TradingView. They will populate these variables. Pretty self-explanatory, the lines set themselves. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to call this strike. Uh, this stochastic confirmation. I'll do another one later for the, with the ATR bands for the stop and take profit. Cause I could do a full setup video. I could show you how to do it yourself. If you want to do any strategy or indicator, I'll make a little picture on here. Maybe I'll put already on there or the trading floor or something. I don't know. But if you would like to copy this, all you have to do is join Trade Lab, then come to the community browser. Trade Lab is free if you use a certain exchange. I'm not sure that I really want to recommend that exchange right now because I, I just got totally raped with fees by them. I'm more of a fan of Bybit myself. That's what I'm using currently. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to stick to until uh, if and when we get Bing X, because Bing X has Forex stocks and crypto. So far, I'm a fan of them. I've been manually trading on there lately. But if you would like to trade any of the strategies that I've done, you can join Trade Lab. It's 50 bucks a month if you use Bybit or any other exchange. If you want to use BitGet and get it for free, do so at your own risk. But you can get this for free, learn it, figure out if you like it. I think you will. I think that's about it for now. I'm going to nervously watch this trade that took while I should have had it.
off, but look for that other indicator on TradingView. Oh, I guess this would be a good opportunity too to show you. So a bunch of us were on a trading bot service that ripped us all off and we were all pretty upset about it. And they had a pretty good trading community and we were pretty much doing all the work while they just took our money and made promises that never came true. I'm actually going to do a review video on that bot here shortly. So check back in for that one. It should be fun. But anyway, so we were like, why are we here? Why are we paying money for this thing? It sucks. It's just they're just taking money from us and not living up to anything they said so we created a discord channel called crypto family trading we have since gotten into more than just crypto so the channel name is now apex trading syndicate it's free it doesn't cost anything we're, we're just looking for like-minded traders that want to help each other we got des making strategies and indicators we've got other people looking to do that too we're all back testing and like just trying to help each other be successful that's the whole point family type group where everybody helps everybody if you are going to be active and help and participate in the group i would love for you to be a member we're looking to grow and have good people also you want to join trade labs discord channel and check them out i'm over there we're actually going to do an ama today where we're going to answer questions on strategy and stuff i put videos on there and i usually do shorter ones on my youtube channel which is where this one will be today but i will do a full build video later for the strategy and the in indicator and with the ATR bands for stop loss and take profit. So check back there, but there's a lot of good resources here. Jake is the creator of Trade Lab. He's a genius on this stuff. And uh, we're just trying to grow and get bigger and get more people there. I think once people start using it, they're gonna love it. So if you would like to join either of these channels, I will leave links in the description below. And uh, yeah, I hope this strategy works for you. I'm not giving financial advice or promising anything. Look at this. I should have not, I should have turned off my bot for the weekend. But uh, yeah, no, this not financial advice. I'm not promising anything. Uh, but I did have a couple successful trades this week. And I would love for you guys to be successful also. And yeah, try this out. You can, like I said, set up any confirmations you want with Trade Lab with any indicator you want on TradingView. And if you have questions, let me know in the comments below. Hit me up on Discord, and I will see you guys later.